Over all these years, uh, when I've introduced myself as a professional poker player, it's kind of been holding me back. It's not something I've been uh, particularly proud of. General opinion about poker is that it's a type of gambling. And, and it is, but it's so much more. Even though there's luck involved, there's still a huge portion of skill in the game, and uh, it definitely favors the prepared ones. And now Mark Newhouse only needs to dodge a River 4 to make another main event final table. The River card is an ace, that will do it! Vamos! We have our November 9! Velador out in 10th. That's the best misclick of my life. We played down from 6,683 players to a final table of just nine. In 1972, the buy-in of $10,000 for the World Series of Poker main event has not changed, but the prize money for first place has grown tremendously. Welcome to the 2014 World Series of Poker main event featuring a $10 million top prize. Slim won $80,000. In 2003, Chris Wanamaker took home two and a half million. But this year, that figure is a massive $10 million. But what really stands out for me is Mark Newhouse. Back-to-back -back final tables in such massive fields. I really do believe that his experience will be a huge difference maker tonight. Indeed. With each breath, feel your mind begin to quiet. Let your thoughts just kind of melt away. In the beginning, I, I didn't play that much. Played a little bit online, playing with friends, just not playing professionally. <laughs> Cooking was my, my first passion. <laughs> I went to a high school with a focus on culinary. I was a bit fed up with the academic classes. Uh, in 2008, I realized that I had the opportunity to at least try making it as a pro. My first live tournament was actually here in Vegas. Uh, it was the main event as well. I qualified online. Uh, you had the option to either take the money or go play. So I called up my mom and asked for her advice. It was obviously a whole lot of money for me. Uh, she knew how much I loved poker and uh, so she said that, uh, yeah, of course you, you should go to Vegas and play. Welcome to the main event of the World Series of Poker. It is indeed time for poker's greatest event of the year. And the masses have once again descended upon the Rio, making this main event the second largest field ever, 6,844. It was my first big live tournament, the main event. didn't go very well. I, uh, I, I busted on the third hand. That's not what you want. But this year I was, I was really motivated and I changed a few things. I, I took it a lot more seriously. I was due for a, a big run. <laughs> Dude, 
Yeah, should be able to find it there. I would think so. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah. If you love poker, your dream is to win the main uh, event. We got the first episode. So. Two tables of eight remain. Brazilian Bruno Brazil, Politano. Perfectly valid point, though. Politano oh, randomly oh, picked this hoodie oh, yeah, out of a lost dress for us. <laughs> Back now to Von Holt. And he folds. Jacobson looks like the kid I used to cheat off of in 11th grade biology. <laughs> Most people take biology in 9th grade. Yeah, we have no idea nothing about poker. Bigger no. race. No. Well, I don't know if this is Hollywooding to save some face or if Bruno can possibly have one more bluffing gear. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> reaching for chess. <laughs> Six bet to 5 million, 755 yeah. back at your Felix. <laughs> I think we need to play some more Sims. I told you, man. With Paul well Dano, he's still Brazilian. Wow. That's right to the last minute, buddy. Oh, you know what he said? Uh, we got to play down to head south no matter what. Yeah. So it might be a 20 hour day. Well, that last level, we figured it would be 100 big feet. Right? Yeah. So yeah. My friends are my mentors. I'm very fortunate that I have so many, not only friends, but also high-level players uh, that I also has a lot of experience. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you would have to do. Let's play, yeah, let's play characters. Yeah, characters. Okay. Pretend like it's final five and like possibilities for who could be on your left. Because you must know it well. Yeah. yeah. Right now, okay, you're you're Felix. I think Papa's gonna yeah. bust. All right, you're Bruno. Oh fuck, I forgot about New House. Put me New House. Okay, I can do New House. Yeah. I can. Trust I was actually planning on getting a, a poker coach, a mental coach, and maybe a nutritionist. But over time, I, I realized that I I pretty much had all those benefits in in my friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I probably call it tensor. That's a pretty big difference. Yeah, I mean it's such a feel spot. It depends. Yeah, I feel it depends how he's been playing. I mean, it's like that too. You can like take your time. And... Do the do the new house thing when he's leaving after you bust new house. I'm gonna buy myself a new house. <laughs> <laughs> you bust them. Get out of here. <laughs> Go back to Cali. <laughs> I'm seeing any of my opponents preparing like I am. I did a lot of uh, endurance training, uh, prepare my, my body to be able to, to sit in the chair and focus for so long. I'm just gonna do a 20 minute sauna just to clear my head. I feel, feel like a kid on Christmas. Hi. Hi, Mr. Jacobson. Hi there. Good. May I come in? Yes, please. Thank you. Just a perfect meal. Thank you. So we're uh, two hours away now from the final table. I feel, I feel ready. I feel like 10 million bucks. Lines are 200,000, 400,000 with a 50,000 chip ante. Mark Newhouse will have the button. There is one hour, 35 minutes, and 24 seconds left in level 35. I tell you, Antonio, these players are ready. I mean, four months awaiting the main event final table, a lot of money at stake. 10 million can change a lot of lives. These guys' minds have to be going crazy with that much money on the table. So guys, today is finally here. Enjoy this experience, it's one hell of a ride. I'd like to wish you all the best of luck. Dealer, shuffle up and deal. Yeah, they had to wait 118, 119 days for it, and we've got some tremendous stories out there, Lon. Newhouse, of course, with back-to-back -back November 9s. 
Politano, the first Brazilian ever to make it to the main event final table. And of course, the only true amateur here, Billy Pappas, the foosball champion. <laughs> Tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern, we will crown a champion. One of these nine players will be standing in a sea of confetti, holding the main event bracelet and having just won $10 million. And so showdown will have a pair of jacks for Jort von Hofen. He will take that pot from Jacobson. And von Hof uh, is winning every which way. Playing for 1.2 million over here. Anthony has raised it up. River card. Uh, close enough. Close enough. <laughs> So Larabe will take it. Jacobson could not get away. And with that pot going Larabe's way, Jacobson now becomes the short stack here for the first time. Politano moves up to the eight slot. Jacobson only has 25 big blinds. He's definitely going to get active. And a roll of the eyes and a fold from talking. Jacobson folds as well. bet and a fold as Jacobson just looking for some light that he can work with and he just has had so little he is gauging you know how much time he's got left at this table after that hand Jacobson had seven big blinds raising on his opponent, even though he's all in, it makes no difference, you know? You have to respect that kind of focus. This is just a pure example of picking up, you know, some weakness or some tells on your opponent. I mean, this is very impressive from Jacobson. And look at that, Jacobson will take it, gets talking to fold. Last year, the first elimination at the final table was Mark Newhouse on hand number 36. Yeah, it's a tough spot here. I don't, I, you know, I don't know what to do. All, all in I love this from guy. Newhouse. And if he's called, all that oh. he calls, and that's going to do it. It doesn't seem possible. Oh, my goodness. Back-to-back -back final tables. Back-to-back -back ninth place finishes for Mark Newhouse. Felix Stevenson oh with the pocket seven scores. the river card. He needed the jack. It was the queen of spades instead. And that is going to do it. There's no card in the deck that can save Andoni Larabe and his main event. And he is knocked out in the sixth place. And that is going to do it. Foosball world champion, the unlikely amateur, Billy Pappas knocked off of this main event. Yeah, what a wonderful and wondrous run. Talking now, 27 year old cash game pro from New Jersey right. says all in. What does Will have? Will's got pocket deuces. Just shove it and pray. <laughs> all in. Oh, and wow. look at this from Jacobson with pocket tens. He comes back over the top, and suddenly we may be three handed as Will Talking in severe trouble with all his chips at risk. Talking needs a club, a tray, or a deuce. And it is the Queen of Spades, and that will end the main event for Will Talking as Martin Jacobson bounces right back. And it looks like they might be calling play for the evening. With three-handed oh, action here, uh, they are going to call it's such it. a surreal feeling, you know, to see your mom and sister in, in Vegas for the first time while you're playing a poker tournament for $10 million. This is what he does, you know? Yeah. Every single time, he just builds up. He comes back stronger than ever. Kick the dust out of back, don't look back. feels unreal. I'm very satisfied and happy with how I played today and how I was able to keep focus for so long. What was the key to stay focused? Uh, Silta. <laughs> <laughs>
Bring on the bacon. Bring it on. My I'm so nervous, but I know Martin's got everything under control. I feel, I feel excited. I feel confident. I feel like everything that Martin's been doing the past couple months has been leading up to this. My sister, the only problem with them, they get so emotional. Is this happening? I'm <laughs> <laughs> sitting there eating my peanut. Like, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna win this thing, don't worry. <laughs> it's all about Wani and him. Yeah. It is. It's such a huge thing. Yeah. And all your reads become correct too, and just everything kind of flows your way a lot better. So we definitely you can, you can tell me what he had that hat, but also tell me, like, so, so here's what I think you should do now. Yeah, okay. Strategy wise, honestly, you were like spot on. We said little things like maybe increase your race size a little bit on Felix's big blind because he's yeah. peeling a lot. Um, yeah. but I think overall, like, it was it was fucking impressive. You're gonna see later when everyone uh, talks to you about it. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be proud of yourself. It was good no matter what happens. The biggest thing is like you just gotta be confident in yourself, heads up, man. Like, yeah, it's not that big a deal. I know. It's just poker. That's been my biggest. Oh man, like, I would take you like, any day. Over. Honestly, if I didn't know you, I would take you over Jory any day, like 100 percent, man. It's not even close. Dude, proud of you no matter what, man. Good job, Thanks, man. Buddy. Really good stuff. Yeah. All right, we'll talk soon. Three players remain, and they are all tough competitors. The Netherlands, Jorrit van Hoof is the current chip leader. He put on a dominating performance last night, knocking out three players. Ladies and gentlemen, we for the World Series of Poker Main Event Final Table. It's time! Let's shuffle up and deal! And I've never seen a bigger smile on Martin Jacobson's face. He's a big fan of MMA. To have himself be introduced by Buffer, that was big for him. So talk to us about the strength at the final three. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing uh, for years with Stevenson online already. And he's a very uh, good poker player. Martin Jacobson, I haven't played a lot with him outside of this event and accidentally in, uh, in London. So you take a look here at three-handed. Uh, pressure is never going to let up. Big pay jump ahead. And you have to stick around to get a shot at that $10 million for our champion. Three raise, yeah, he's eight million. Coming in for a raise here. And Jacobson will take it with the pocket sevens, drawing first blood here at our three-handed final table. The more you see of this guy, the more you see nothing not to like. Absolutely. Wow. He is a tournament specialist, and his skills have been on full display from the first hand. It is the championship. It is the competition that they love. It is the fact that they came into the main event to try to do something that they had never done before, and all three of them in position to do that. So the money and the bracelet, when they're out, out there playing does take second and third place. If Von Hoof moves all in here, Jacobson does not love calling with Ace 10, I can assure you that. Oh, oh there I is the it. all in. I love it. Wow. Oh, and a quick wow. call. Jacobson will have Von Hoof dominated and at risk. And that insta call, Antonio, it's one thing to make the call after some deliberation, but the insta call is almost like dirt on his grave. He just, he had him owned. He I knew mean, where he was. He definitely knew where he was. It almost feels like he said, and it's another queen. And that will do it. Martin Jacobson takes that huge pot, knocks off a very dangerous opponent. Honestly, don't don't think about the money uh, that much. Uh, I, I'm I'm all for <laughs> for winning that title and becoming a world champion in something I've dedicated so much time. 
All in. He says all in. With a king. King deuce. Jacobson says, uh, all right, we can take that one. If anybody has put themselves in a mental position to win, it's definitely Jacobson. I mean, if you could rewind back to the hand one yesterday, from nine-handed until now, I mean, he really has made no mistakes. I think it's such an educational tool for people to watch and see how Jacobson has played. It's been phenomenal. The guy just doesn't make any mistakes. Felix Stevenson. It's ace nine of hearts, a race of three and a half million. All in. All in. This might be it. And, and there it is. This could be it. It could be Pocket Tens leading Jacobson to $10 million. And now Martin Jacobson on the verge of eliminating Felix Stevenson. Ace Knight of Hearts at risk. And that's a terrible night in the flat. But the set for Jacobson. Martin Jacobson has his breakthrough win. He has climbed the mountain. From what I've seen in my short time with you fine gentlemen, this is the best performance I've ever seen. Spoken. I think he's going to be a great champion. And I truly Excuse believe him when he says that the bracelet means more than the money. He played, he won't admit it, but he played basically flawless for two straight days to come home with $10 million. It, it's hard to put on a perfect show, especially at a final table, but Jacobson was, as you said, nearly flawless. Just wasn't even close, and it showed that all the experience and all the training that he had had clearly paid off. They'd done their research, they'd done their preparation, and the game plan just completely followed through. We got $10 million. We're still People have done that, but no one I think has done what Martin did. Martin was prepared for every scenario. So we, we did a 10 for 10 champ. It was $10 million and he had pocket tens and we needed a 10 to come to win it. And then on top of it all, it turns out that it's also the real 10th anniversary. Literally, the window card, which is the very first card, is a 10. I mean, you just can't write it any better. It's absolutely perfect. It's, it's a joke. It's like it's fake. This is big. I don't think I can think of anyone else more deserving. He's got so much passion, so much heart. Me, yeah, I'm gonna remember it forever. See, after party, you know, they give us the biggest suite I've ever been a part of. It's an absolute party. You can hear it in the background. Uh, we haven't drank. Martin hasn't drank in three months. None of us have partied and done anything. Oh, 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 o